difference if the view was zoomed in so only the screen is framed? So that's what you got to do. That's right. I'm just taking, I'm just watching where you're going. Where's Larry going? Maybe we better follow. Don't want to hang on your hand. You can't do that. Too fast. 
Let's take a vote. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yourself close or far away from the wall? Well, of course the idea is to keep your weight over your feet as much as possible. And keep your keep your weight so, so that your, your feet carry 
fall your weight in your hands as little as possible. Otherwise, your hands give out rather rapidly. Of course, you fell just five feet. It was on that great end. Yeah, well, normally... Yeah, another, uh, uh, another six feet. No. Yeah, well, <laughs> normally I wouldn't, I wouldn't go climb over the grating. The normal place is out on the end wall there, where it's well out of sight. The fall sun in the summer, which is one reason I didn't want to take everybody down there today. And uh, nice gravel there. That has a nice soft, soft jumping pit under it. Strong hands, good balance. Um, there's a good bit of, um, well, it comes under balance, but being able to move your weight from one um, smoothly, from one foot to another. It's a uh, fairly good practice when one wants to do rock climbing. I think that's its main uh, main application, just as, as a sport, is something that's a bit of a challenge. Anybody like to try it? Wouldn't it be a lot easier if you did it in that corner? Uh, you have yeah. <laughs> In fact, um, well, of course, you can't go very far horizontally in the corner. <laughs> but uh, aside from that, the corner is so easy to practice cheating. In fact, this is something I wanted to say something about, is the use of counterforce. I said there was something to do with friction. See, neither of these holes that I'm on is very good. They'd be hard to stand on. But um, my foot's just, I'm, I'm pushing with this foot against that foot, which makes the vector into the rock not vertical, but pretty well over. And at that angle, the, the shoe will hold. And same in the other thing, in fact, other direction. In fact, this is sort of an, an example of a chimney. And you can take a smooth brick chimney or a you know, of two facing brick walls and go right up and down them. Put your back, put your feet against uh, the sides. Did I say something about balance? <laughs> put your feet against the sides and just push or your, even the most comfortable thing is to put your back against one side and your feet against the other and just tootle up and down. That mountaineering, that's generally considered just sort of next thing, next best thing to a trail. One often doesn't even bother with a rope. It's a very hard thing to fall out of. There are lots of similar, yeah, lots of similar counterforce sort of situations. You can give the count, do counterforce from uh, from the hands on any kind of holes. Very strong. Do that sort of thing. It takes muscle like though. It takes sense to wear after a bit. But in uh, mountains, of course, sometimes you need to go straight up 20 or 30 feet in that sort of position, just up a crack. And you can do it. But uh, it's nice not to have to stand and wait for a very long in the middle of it. But it is a continuous. <laughs> continuous strain on your arms. <laughs> the, <laughs> yeah. It involves a, a little bit of oxygen. <laughs> Shouldn't all the ladies take the turn right now? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think oh, so. Yeah. Especially those with high heels. Yeah. Right. Well, after all, you didn't see me using my heels. <laughs> Just keep your heels off the wall. It's quite simple. Tiptoe. Tiptoe of the Rock wall. climbing have special shoes. I don't think we have them here around to show, but they're tight shoes with smooth, with the current fashionable ones, which seem to work best, or state-of-the-art technology, or are very tight, very smooth rubber, very a very soft adherent rubber that sticks to practically anything. And they make life easy easier doing this. I don't generally use them here 
because these hush puppies work perfectly well. The, the uh, foam soles work much better than most shooters, by the way. If you try this with other shooters, you're going to have difficulties. <laughs> and they, they lace up quite tight. So this works. But a tight, tight fitting uh, rubber sole, <coughs> sole shoe is the thing you need. This, as I say, they're, they're, this is built so that there's a fair number of quite decent little shell holes. And um, when you're standing, well, that's good enough to stand on with very little force going in. If I want to stand on that, for example, I'm going to have to lean out farther to put more force on my hands. So I've got my foot is being pushed into the wall to improve the hole. If I put it real close like that, it'll come off. Is there a good bowling technique? <laughs> uh, yeah, get clear of the wall. Is there ball a good bowling balance, technique? Plan with your knees better, just about all. And uh, don't fall on your head. <laughs> <laughs> or any other part of your anatomy. <laughs> Hair with, uh, you know, under the five foot limit. It doesn't take any particular. There's no special problem with falling. It's a little more than jumping off a desk, but it's mm -hmm. the sort of thing that you do in any kind of sport. It will be nice if they took a little uh, paint and paint this by the blind across. Yeah, it's easy enough, I think, to lay down What are you zeroing in on? If you paint the blind, it might be too obvious. The over it. <laughs> From inside, that would mess up the wall. <laughs> you just need to be, you know, reasonably chicken. When it starts looking like a long way down there, it's time to go down. It's very, it's much, it's very hard to stay down actually because Sorry, when you when you st when you're looking for the next hole, it's much easier to see one that's closer to you than one that's farther down. And so you tend to put your foot on something that's a little higher than you are. That's right. That's right. And then. After a little while, you suddenly look down and it's an awfully long way down there. It's time to start climbing down, which is harder than climbing up. So it's, that is something that you have to look at. You know, have to be careful about it. When you start getting good enough to stay on for a while, you tend to drift up the wall. And that's, that's something to look out for. Well, maybe there's one. Larry was going to be a guinea pig. Is he around? <laughs> Are you still interested? <laughs> sure. He has to take off his shoes. Yeah, though. you're going to need to. Are you doing it barefoot or is it with those work? They're sandals. They're work with sandals. Okay, good. Oh, oh my yeah, God. No, that's not good. That's, that's like me going up with these things yeah. on. <laughs> You're next. Uh, uh, look at the way his right foot goes. It, do, it doesn't look very Look at the calf muscle definition. <laughs> <laughs> How do I get closer to the wall? I feel you're pretty close, but your hands are down low, which is good form, but they could be they could be a bit higher. Where's the good? I suspect I can't move either hand. Your way back to the left, you'd be okay. Oops, and you did. And also, of course, when you're pretty close in, it takes a little while for the barn door to swing. <laughs> so you have sort of a dynamic. <laughs> that was incredibly good for a first try. <laughs> this is actually not a different piece of wall. Seems like somebody else should try it. Go ahead. One of these summer students. I'll take the camera. <laughs> yeah, Go ahead, ahead Ted. You have the shoes. Yeah, have your sneakers on. Somebody who's never climbed a wall before. Make sure his pictures get taken, Sam. How do you work this thing? <laughs> oh, it's going. Okay. What were we supposed to say? Look at that calf definition. <laughs> Have you done He's this done before? This yeah. He has? Yes. He's done this for years. <laughs> God, your arms have to be incredibly strong. Too. 
Spider-Man! <laughs> not, not an awful lot of arm strength. No? Uh, finger, the finger strength. It's a bit of finger strength. But, and you, your fingers, you wind up with your arms. This, this card balloon is sore. Yeah. Are there any particular uh, problems? <laughs> You seldom find this kind of a service on a skyscraper. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever seen it. Uh, and this is... Race. Oh, they use suction cups on this <laughs> Well, so there, that's been... All sorts of things have been done. But this... <laughs> all right, Ted, give me a big uh, smile in there. That are <laughs> and you find, you find this kind of wall somewhere oh, else. Oh, another brave soul. Sometimes rough uh, brick. It's actually better barefoot. Or, um, you know, cut stone, big cut stone can be handled with the same sort of thing. <laughs> But if you're doing wrong, wrong. Yeah. what am I doing wrong? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. It's funny, but you have to like go up like the straddle. It's like mess. <laughs> <laughs> you're wearing like shoes. Right? What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, no shape. Hey, Dad, the wall's going to smell like your bed. <laughs> I don't know. The wall's going to smell like your bed. smell like your bed. <laughs> Doesn't that hurt? No. Oh. Not bad. You're supposed to go up, not sideways. No, you go sideways, not up. <laughs> up is strictly against the rules. Five feet limit. Never above, never your feet above that. Pretty good for yeah, you see how, how Chris is stretched out here? He's got his support over here, but he has to have points there to keep him on, otherwise he's falling. And you see, this is not, he's not getting much up on the force out of this. He's pretty much on the side of a rock here. He's not pulling down on it, he's pulling sideways. But that, with your hands, Almost entirely are pulling you, are pulling you in toward the wall, keeping you falling yes, out the feet of the fire was carrying the way. Yeah, you get a, it's good exercise for this. You know, it seems to me though, wouldn't it be natural to go up? You don't get it. It's easier to do it. The rock. Next time I would well, look, I think, that would be I think that's that far. You never stay on the wall. Because it's easier to raise your legs. It's strictly up. against you the rules. Find yeah, that I know it. Yeah. Yeah. Always that's, a different, that's a different sport. That's a different game. <laughs> Yeah, in mountaineering, rock climbing, you have a rope. And, you know, your hands may cramp, somebody may throw a rock at you from above. You may, the rock you're hanging on to that you check is perfectly solid may very well come out with you. You've got a perfectly good handhold. Here it is out in free space. How are we going to the five feet? What? How are we going to the five feet? Less than five feet. That wasn't something that was imposed, that was our idea. People will look at Ted and say, help, he's nearly at the top of the wall. It seems to be a, sort of an inevitable jump to conclusion, but it never happens. Uh, here, I mean, if we go out to the, the mountains of uh, the guards of New Falls or whatever and go up, but with a rope and with protection, with anchor points, you know, the whole, bit, whole business. And other places we may climb three more than five or even ten feet, but here, the, we don't want any complications with the company, and we don't the want anybody getting <laughs>
there may have been a fun time, but I mean, I think it's worth it. Yeah, I mean, I'll pull it down. I'll pull it down. It's an out of zoom check. An out of focus, I mean. It's got a focus, uh, automatic focus. That's neat. Yeah. So we, we have this camera, which we just got this camera. So, you know, first, so if you want to make, you know, it's got a zoom on. It's got, I've got a zoom on. I've got to do that. It doesn't know what I want to do. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.